Hi, Trish, leadyourlifestyle.com. It's day 28 of the 90 day journey. I'm hot, I'm sweaty, it's humid. Uh, it started to rain, so I'm wet. Um, anyway, I, uh, uh, not that I'm complaining, just getting those action steps done. I'm not gonna run through what I've done because I've ticked them all off. I want to talk to you today about the OC call that was uh, yesterday, sort of the orientation call. And uh, what that is, is the orientation of new members that actually come on board to the SFMDEA community. And it was just a very inspiring call. It went for, well, I was on the call for four hours and 40 minutes. So from uh, 3 p.m. in the afternoon, that's Eastern Standard Time, through to 7.40. And I had a scheduled call due at uh, eight o'clock and so I had to be off that call and get ready for my next call so unfortunately I didn't get right through to the end but I'm sure I wasn't that far away because I think it went for about five hours but um, I mean how inspiring that you get co-founders of an organization that take you know five hours of their time to uh, get onto a call I think there was about 280 people on that call and to really share the vision of what's to come, the vision of the organization, and really to help new members find their feet. And I think it was well structured. They had somebody on the call that they had as panelists that had been in the community for one week. They had someone then that had been in for say a couple of months they had someone on the call that had been in there for about a year to 18 months. Uh, and then we had some, you know, the co-founders speaking as well. But by having those people on the call, they could share their experiences and where they're at and maybe some of the challenges that they were facing as either new members or members that are, have been in the community for about 18 months. So I thought that was a great idea. Also, um, I think Jay and Stu bring a whole different flavor. I think the two of them are completely opposite in their approach and their delivery style. And I think that is really engaging. So the four hours went pretty quickly. Uh, you didn't want to miss anything. So you tended to stay on that call for as long as you could. I know some people obviously had to leave because of commitments and obligations. But it was that thing where you really wanted to stay on that call to find out what the next message was going to be. So what I did do is I wrote down a few notes because these are little nuggets of information. You could call them golden nuggets that really stood out for me. And I think that they can lead to great content video as well. So when you're building your online business, you're always looking out for great ideas, things that you can discuss, trigger points. And um, there was quite a few of those on the call yesterday. Uh, this one was from Jay. If you want to earn the money, expect to learn the skills. Now, you know, incredible. In traditional society, we go to school, we get the grades, we go to college, we go to university, we you know, get the grades. Then we go into the workforce. It could be through internship and then through a job and we learn the skills. So how many years does it take to learn all those skills for a profession? And yet when we start our online business, we expect to be making money within the first few months, you know, and it's ridiculous to even consider or think that. Uh, you have to basically go in, get the training, uh, you know, get guidance from the right mentors and coaches, which is what Chris and I have done, and then learn the skills, you know, get out there and actually take action, put a budget up, you know, advertise, do content video, write your blogs, do your broadcasts, and put the work in, learn the skills. So... If you want to earn the money, expect to learn the skill. So a great uh, title for a content video. If you do things a lot of times, you will master those skills. Okay, so it was not about 
being the complete expert and knowing absolutely everything. It's about doing those things every day. And I talk about that you know, on so many videos, even this 90 day journey is all about doing the same thing every day. And I get onto this, you know, video and tell you exactly what I've done every day. So it's that repetition of doing things and doing a lot of them, uh, practicing, practicing video like we've been doing. Uh, Chris and I have so many videos uploaded now to our YouTube channel because of the fact that we've been practicing. Um, the journey is different for everyone. Okay, so it depends on you, it depends on your skills, it depends on your resources, and it also depends on all of those personal attributes. The journey is different for everyone. Brilliant. Uh, this one was from Jay. You can't withdraw from what you don't deposit. Okay, so in other words, when you're starting your online business, you can't expect to withdraw from that business if you haven't deposited. So it's a bit like uh, an ATM analogy. You know, you go to the bank and you actually bank your money or you have your money banked, you can then withdraw from that ATM or from that bank. So that was another really huge um, statement as well. Another one was affiliates have a unique perspective. So they were sort of talking about why they have created an affiliate model for their business. And the reason why was exactly that, is because for them to get a wide reach, a wide audience reach, um, they can have advocates like us, they can have people that are actually successful in the online business world under their program, through their community, that are sharing a message to others that are like-minded to them. So Chris and I are going to be attracting the people that are attracted to our message and not necessarily attracted to Stuart and Jay's message. So it's, I think that's a really great statement. I think for any business owner, you know, you have your own unique perspective on things and share that message regardless of how you think think that message is or you know no one's going to listen to me or they're going to get bored with my message or I'm not interesting enough that's rubbish because you bring your own perspective to things so that was brilliant chances are you are your own critic okay and we've experienced that when it comes to creating and developing content and video and even when it comes to developing the sales funnels you are very very self-critical of your own work uh, become the best version of you so through practice and repetition and daily action tasks and just daily doing and building on the business you become the best version of you and focus on becoming the best version of you I mean your authentic real self and the more these journeys go on especially for me you know, here I am sitting here in front of a video, sharing a video in front of many, many people with no makeup, uh, no showered, um, no fancy clothes. I've literally got up, done my walk, sweaty, hot, you know, wet, and created this video. And that's all down to the amount of times you do them, you become very real and authentic in your videos. So become the best version of you. That was a great uh, statement and be a product of the product. So Chris and I are totally that. We are a product of the product that we are promoting. And that is, you've got to love it. You've got to be using it. You've got to be in it. And, uh, you know, for you to ever promote something, you have to be, you know, a product of the product. So some really, really brilliant statements that came out of that OC call. And I think I'm going to expand on those for other videos because I know that I can bring my own message uh, to those comments. So that's my share today. It's gone for quite some time actually. I'm looking here nine minutes. Um, so that's uh, trishleisurelifestyle.com, trishandchrisonline.com and if you want to subscribe to our YouTube channel Trish and Chris, all one word, go to YouTube and press that subscribe button. So that's me, my story for today, day 28, and I will see you tomorrow, day 29. Bye for now.